Good morning, it's Dr. James. Hey, you're looking good and it's so good to see you this morning. Thank you for your time and thank you for your energy. And today, ooh, look at that sun coming through. That's a good omen, huh? I got a little sun on my shoulder, sunshine on my shoulder. No, I won't do that, John Denver. That's your song. <laughs> okay, so today, oh my gosh, this is gonna be awesome. I promise you that if you follow through on these eight disciplines I'm gonna share with you today, let's call them blissciplines, they will help you to augment your growth exponentially all in one day. There's science behind these. There's a, there's a spiritual conviction that I feel behind these, an emotional charge around these. And these are eight practices that we can literally do today. And at the end of today, we are gonna feel better. We're gonna feel stronger. We're gonna be more enlightened. We're just gonna be a better presence in the planet. How's that? So number one, what we're gonna to commit to today is doing just a little bit of reading. Uh, the science says that if we read up towards a 20 to 30 minutes a day, something that charges us, something that makes us feel like we're learning something new. It actually has a profound effect on our gray matter, which is the house of our memory. It's the house of our creativity. It's where all the goodness happens. So you know what? We're going to commit to reading at least 15, but ideally 30 minutes today. All right? You know what? You, you have the time. I'm just going to leave it at that. Number two, we're going to commit to meditating for one minute. <laughs> Come on, let's just, you know, one minute. I read a cool study on a breathing practice, literally just going in for four seconds, holding it for four seconds, and releasing it for four seconds slowly. It's called the box breath. Navy SEALs are doing it. It's an awesome way to lower anxiety. It's an awesome way to uh, increase your testosterone and, and improve your courage and conviction. So you know what? Give yourself a permission. And in fact, you know you can do it while we're doing this right now. Just take a minute and meditate. Um, if you've got more than a minute in you, feel free to overachieve. Number three, oh my gosh, I read a cool study on gossiping, but just being around negative energy, and I believe gossip is profoundly negative energy. So you give an opportunity today to upgrade your mind and your body, and I believe your emotional resilience to not feed or participate or ignite or insight or be a part of gossip on any level. Uh, there's a chronic study, a study on, on the chronicity of negativity and who we hang out with and how it affects our brain and how it affects inflammation of our brain so you know what give yourself permission to create an opulent bubble draw the curtain put the firewall up no more gossip ah yes number four do a one minute plank today or if you're so inclined do a one minute plank every hour oh my gosh do we actually not 12 minutes of plank today Ooh, or like 14 or two it doesn't matter but the plank pose has so many cool um pieces to it but a lot of research now showing around back pain uh, around uh, the power pose that amy cuddy talks about in terms of augmenting our um our courage and our conviction about what we're going to be doing in our life and through if you're losing your confidence throughout the day you're finding yourself starting to kind of use lose your resilience drop into plank pose this is awesome number five <laughs> stop doing tv oh my goodness i stopped doing the tv news uh 30 years ago next year and um I think I'm doing okay with that. I have no idea what's going on on most levels that the TV promotes, but I know about the things that really do matter. I read the newspaper. I read um, good magazines. I read good columns online. I want to learn that way where I can take it in and really, really learn versus feel like it's coming at me like a fire hose and I, I don't know what's coming. I need to prepare myself for the news. I need to prepare, prepare myself uh, to uh, see what's going on. I actually know more today than I did 30 years ago, and it's interesting. I did it without the television. Well, that's kind of cool. Number six, forgive. Think about who in your life needs forgiveness. And I say everyone gets forgive. Let's just start today and say, you know what? I'm forgiving everybody, including myself for the shortcomings, uh, for my humanness, for my imperfections. I'm going to love myself up. I'm not going to hold any more grudges. I'm going to let it go. Uh, a powerful study that was done on forgiveness its relationship to heart disease and heart healing and just all the goodness that comes along with that energy. Number seven, we are going to unplug at 5 p.m. today. Scary. Oh my gosh. Good and scary, right? Do a digital sunset. When the sun goes down, power down. Enough said on that. That is an awesome game-changing opportunity. And number eight, choose to be kind today versus being right. This is about surrendering the ego and opening up your heart, giving your 
yourself permission to always take the high road, always go for kindness versus the egos need to be right. This, that all by itself will change the game. There's your great eight for daily bliss of plan. I hope you and I get a chance that tonight go, you know what? I crushed it. You created a life you love. I'm going to help support you every step of the way by believing in your highest expression because that is what you are here to deliver. With that, much love and many blessings. Have a great day. Bye-bye.